I just love the fact that it's no, it's just talent. There's no theatrics, no production. She's the anti-Gaga, which is what, a lot, what more people need in their lives. I cried to a couple of those songs just like the next guy. You know what I mean? And if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. I recall the first time, you know, I seen her at the Grammys, and I wasn't aware of her. Uh, and she sang at the awards show, and her voice was so captivated, and I had to figure out who this, this young lady. So, I mean, to be so young and have an amazing voice like that is just, you know, a heaven sent. I am a huge fan of Adele. Actually, um, during sound checks, I sometimes the guys will yell at me and stop telling me to stop singing her songs because I remember when um, Chasing Pavements came out when she was a brand new artist and I would sing that every day for sound check and she was like, hey, stop. She seems like such a genuine person and I feel like that's something really easy for other people to relate to. I think, I don't know, there's just a lot to look up to with her, I think, and she, her voice is incredible too. Adele is amazing. I absolutely love her. She's my favorite artist right now, I gotta be honest. She's bringing um, real, just great music back to, uh, to the mainstream, which um, a lot of people might not have thought, um, you know, that, that her music would, would kind, of, kind of go into the mainstream so easily. But, I mean, a song like, you know, someone like you, um, you know, three years ago, you wouldn't think that you would hear that on, on pop radio. Um, but it's there, and it's because she's so amazing, you know, she can't be denied. I heard a lot about her for the last year or so. Everybody's been talking to her, fans keep hitting us up about covering her song or something like that. So I'm like, I don't even know who this person is. But then I actually saw her perform someone like you at some award ceremony or something. I just saw the video, and that was the first time I actually saw her and actually knew the song was hers when I heard it, and I was like, wow, actually I've heard the song a lot, and holy crap, she's good. It's crazy how some people can be so powerful with nothing. Her voice is amazing, her pen is amazing. I'm a big fan, and every time I hear um, someone like you, I definitely cry. <laughs> I really think that what makes Adele amazing is how much emotion and power she puts into her recordings, and I guess maybe it's not the best thing for preserving your voice, but I think it's amazing that she really gives it her all when she sings. I mean, you know, songs like Rolling in the Deep, yeah, they strike a chord. You can see, I mean, she's a phenomenon, <laughs> uh, not just with album sales, but um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're incredible songs and she sings them with incredible passion, so. Yeah, I'd love to see her perform live sometime. I know she doesn't do it very much. It's sort of an, an artist out of time. It's like you, you watch well, her and you and go, here's a, somebody that can sing. You know, in many cases in the, in the past, you have these kind of very incredible singers who are not necessarily writers. And in the case of Adele, she's actually a writer as well. And it's a really, and I think that hopefully like that'll, the song, well, yeah. but it'll, it'll hopefully provide a lot of longevity for her, I think. She has the power to kind of hold people's attention with her voice. I was fortunate enough to go see her in the Hollywood Bowl uh, a couple years ago before her second album came out, the big album, um, and the power that she had over the entire audience was incredible. Nobody was like moving. She had everybody totally still and it was just this captivating magic that happened. Yeah, and she's not on that like, you know, like crazy soul stuff where she's like, ah, like you know, she doesn't do all that stuff. <laughs> like, I, can't, I can't do that. And, and, and I, I think she could if she wanted. It's crazy, too, because if you think about, like, the climate of pop radio and stuff right now, it's, you know, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, and stuff like that, and her music sounds nothing like that, yet was on top of the charts, one of the best-selling albums in a really long time. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead.